Down on the tape, Ariola, 38 years of age. As you heard from Chris Myers, if he loses tonight, this could be it for his professional career. Seven years older than Augustine. Ariola weighing in at 239 and a quarter pounds. Augustine at 226 and a half. And career rounds fought as professionals. Ariola, 207. Augustine only 48 in his 18 professional bounce. To the ring. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and we welcome you to the spectacular AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas as Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming your way that is brought to you by Tecate, the official beer of boxing, Limitless Pill, Reinvent Yourself, and Twin Peaks, Eats, Drinks, Scenic Views. Introducing our three judges, scoring this bout from ringside, Don Griffin, David Yakabuchi, and Corey Santos. All right, fans, here we go. Brought to you by TGB Promotions and Ring Star Sports. Ten rounds of boxing in a heavyweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my right, Fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and gold trunks. He is fighting out of Providence, Rhode Island by way of Haiti. He weighed in at 226 and one half pounds. His record 17 wins, no losses, and one draw. With 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated fighter known as Kid Creole, Jean-Pierre Augustine. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks, fighting out of and representing his home of Riverside, California. He weighed in at 239 and one quarter pounds with a record of 37 wins, five losses in one draw. He has 32 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the hard hitting heavyweight attraction, introducing Chris, the Nightmare. How do I free in charge now to give instructions? We have Neil Young. Okay, gentlemen, we know the rules in the dressing room. Do you have any questions? Remember to obey my commands at all times. Touch them up, good luck to you. A look at the unified the rules. No anybody? three knockdown rule. No standing eight count. Fighter cannot be saved by the Ready? bell. Only the referee Ready? can stop the fight. Good. No decision if an accidental foul stops the fight before four rounds. There's nobody to queue up. Look at Jean Pierre Augustine, 31 Ready? years of age, Ready? born in Haiti, grew up in Massachusetts. Box. This is the latest installment of the Los Angeles Boston sports rivalry. We had the Dodgers and the Red Sox. Patriots and Rams, and now Ariola and Augustine. Stop, stop, stop! I had a feeling Ariola was supposed to come down. out here real strong and put pressure on him straight away, but he didn't. Ariola at 37, 5, and 1. He won his first 27 mm. professional bouts. Augustine at 17, 0, and 1. Nine straight knockouts. Now, Ariola came out straight, but he got hit right on the nose right there by a le straight left hand by Augustine. Um, he's always going to press. That's his instinct is to press. You'll never see Chris Ariola back up. Augustine fighting for the first time in 15 months. Did not fight in 2018. He had 10 bouts in 2017. And for Ariola, only his second fight following a 28-month layoff. Ariola in the blue trunks. Round one scheduled for ten. Now, Ariola got knocked off balance here by that left hand. Uh, but I got to tell you, Augustine is throwing in a pretty good straight left hand. He's very awkward, and you know to find tape on him uh, uh, anywhere out there, you couldn't really see how good he or bad he was because there was very little tape on him out there. But um, he is undefeated, so he, he and he does have a lot of knockouts, but. Chris Ariola has fought the much, much better opponents. He's only been stopped five times in his career. Or I should say beaten five times in his career. All five of them have been world champions. So 
Ariola doesn't hasn't lost to anybody but world champions. Ariola has challenged for the WBC heavyweight title on three different occasions. Stop, 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 stop. And Ariola stop. needs to calm down and settle down a little bit more and uh, concentrate on throwing some combinations, especially to the body to slow down. Ooh, Augustine. Yeah, he, he just caught Augustine with a great straight left hand. Augustine, is, this is what he does. The, 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 the little tape you can see on him out there, he's a real clutching, grabbing guy if you get close to him. And it looks like he's doing the same thing tonight. If he gets close to you, he's going to grab you. Now to me, see, and there you go. I mean, Augustine did this on the tapes that you saw. He, he would go down. Now, I don't think he's calling that a knockdown. He isn't. He will go down on his own uh, volition and then try to crack you from the outside. But on the inside, he wants nothing to do with the fight on the inside. And Augustine has to be careful, too, because after he throws his combination of his punch, he looks to grab, but he has to make sure his opponent's close to him. Can't be grabbing from a distance, else he's going to get caught. That will do it for round one. Don't get frustrated. Don't get frustrated. Let's listen into Ariola's corner. Hey, don't get frustrated, right? Take a deep breath. Feel on the chest. Hey, listen. Use that jab. Use that jab to walk in. Don't get frustrated when he starts to drape all over you. But what are we talking about? Him being a flopper. He just did it, okay? Take a deep breath. He's not good, is he? No. I'm not in the ring. I'm outside the ring. Perfectly legal. Who's on that jab? Go over there. Push him back to the rope, get off. Don't, don't give him any confidence, you gotta push him back. Good. Give me the double jab on the way in though, not just one long one, you're right? Get your hands going. And here we're gonna see the left jab of Ariola. straight, powerful. It's coming in with that shot, just missed with that right hand. If it would have been landed, it may have been good night. Seconds out. Let's box, okay? Round two scheduled for 10 in the heavyweight division. 38-year-old Chris the Nightmare Ariola. 31-year-old Jean-Pierre Augustine. Now, Ariola walked back to his corner very confidently oh, after that first round where Augustine stop, walked stop, back stop. a little dejected looking. And um, I think uh, Ariola got, easily got the better of Augustine in that first round. Uh, and Ariola, see, stop, this, stop. this is what happened. See, this is what I saw on the tape. Augustine, Augustine. goes down again. He, 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 he flip-flops like, uh, you know, when you uh, know, take a fake hit in, in basketball and you do a, you do a flop. And, so, and we heard from Ariola's corner after round one, his trainer, Henry Ramirez, told him, this guy's a flopper. Yeah, yeah, well, he, he saw the little bit of tape that was out there like I did. So he is a flopper, he's a grabber, and he needs some room to punch. And if he doesn't back, get it, punching, he's break, not going to fight you. Break. So Ariola's got to make Box. it a point. Where if he's got a hand free on the inside, to use it. And don't get both hands tied up by this guy. And Ariola feels like he needs to take a punch to give a punch. He doesn't really need to do that. He really needs to just cut off the ring and focus on throwing some combinations. No, I think you're right, but, you know, it's hard to get combinations off when the guy's grabbing you, you know, uh, the minute you get a hand near him. So, you know, he, he's really got to go to the body a little bit more, I think, on this guy. He uses jab coming in. Using a jab, maybe even a jab and a hook. Because this guy is a, he, he really depends on his, uh, and I'm talking about Augustine, depends on that straight left hand of his. A look at the Ariola family, son Alex, your daughter hands, Danae. Hands go. There's that hand free go, that I was talking go. about. If he's got one hand, you've got to use the other one. It's legal to do it. If, if the other, if your opponent is holding one arm, you're allowed to use your other hand and hit with it. Oh, absolutely. And, um, you know, the reasons for doing that, because uh, you want the ref to come in and warn him. Go holding. And I believe the ref will come in and, it, and, and talk to Augustine about holding. Well, who knows, uh, Ariola may make the fight as such on the inside where it's almost impossible for Augustine to hold him for very long. Because Chris is strong and he'll, he'll, he'll wrestle his way out of that and keep on working. Final half minute of round two, scheduled for 10. 
in Arlington, Texas. It's a good counter left hand by Arlington right there. Oh, 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 big left by Ariola. Great left hand. See, Ariola's going for the head. He could have been throwing that right hand of the body right, right there right, when he had right, the trap right, on the ropes. I think right. he's got to do that more often. Box. Bring it. Augustine's hands down even more. Time. Out of the way, baby, out of the way. You got both these fucking rounds, baby. You got both these rounds, you hear me? Out of the way, baby, give me some water. Give me some water. Good job, good job. You're stepping out nice when you're done punching. It's beautiful, man, you're doing beautiful. Doing good. Yo, just just keep stepping past them when you're done punching, JP, all right? So you're not there for the count, all right? Pull that belt off. Just make sure you keep stepping out past them when you're done punching. He ain't, he, they're not there for the, uh, for the count. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. But don't forget your jab, man. Every time you throw a jab, you let, it lands, and the straight, lane, the straight left hand lands right behind it. Now, remember this. I want you to switch and throw that fucking right hand at him. Yeah. And, bla and blast him with it. Blast him with it, all right? So Augustine's corner, his trainer, Victor Baggett, go, feels go, that Augustine has taken the first two rounds. Well, I mean, that's wishful thinking, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned. And I don't think Augustine is, is you know, facially or body Box. language showing that he's winning this fight right now. I think the body language is oh, very good. Right there. That is a left hand. Augustine staggered. Oh. Ariola being great with that right hand, throwing it. He it's needs to throw it a little more, a little more, and he's gonna get some some oh. glory with it. It's not often you see a guy get hurt by a straight left jab. And let me tell you something, wait, Augustine wait, wait. is let still go. Go. really Hold wobbly him. right now. Okay. Ariola should Box. be real calculating and take his time and land good, solid punches while this guy's hurt. Let's go, let's and he go. has a chance Step of taking him out this stop. round. So there we go. This happens a lot with Augustine. Hey. Well, yeah, yeah, these, these ropes are really soft. Uh, they yeah, really, uh, again, you've got two big heavyweights laying on them. If you get middleweights on down, it's not going to have the same effect. They're not going to be tall enough to, to bend those ropes like that. But these guys are, are big. Stop, stop, stop. Remember, Augustine has also dabbled in acting. He's been in three different movies. <laughs> well, I don't think he was acting there when he got wobbled. I can tell you that. But... Um, Again, Oriola was really jumping. Oh, down, down goes here. Augustine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They may stop it. They may stop it. They, if he doesn't show the right, right, go this way. Balance Don't take a right. right now. The referee may left. stop it. Come here. He's going to let you know it go where you're at? on. Texas. You know you're boxing. Look that. at me. And, you ready to fight? And if he does let it go on, he's going to. Ariola knows he's going to knock him out. Right yeah, here. he's coming at him. Yeah. But look, Augustine needs to move. Augustine threw a great left hand, though. He's not giving up just yet. There it is. There it is. It's going to end right now. Stop, stop, stop. That will do wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Good fight. Uh, Ariola, Ariola. Ariola. He's, Ariola. Been, he's never looked better. No, he did. He did okay. the right thing. He, he sensed the victory, yeah, man. Yeah. and he turned up. He turned up the pressure. He threw some good combination and caught him. Did you see how fast he whipped off those combinations? And they were very accurate for a 38-year-old. And Augustine man, was yeah. trying to hold him at that same time. I told wow. you, when you're trying to hold the guy, yeah. he'll just you know Look make sure you're close to him, not yeah. from a distance. You're not going to be able to hold Ariola very long. He tried it in the beginning, but Ariola was very strong, and he he outmaneuvered him on the inside. And, but that jab was a tremendous straight left hand, was it not, Kenny? I mean, it would really rock them. Uh, certainly was. And Ariola told us yesterday, I can't lose that. I'll retire. Ariola yeah. victorious. Yeah, he started early with the left jab, and uh, that left jab was good. When Ariola throws that left jab, he steps into it hard. There's a, his whole, there it is. Well, his see, whole body's coming right. with that. Not only that, you see him, he turns his knuckles over on that, just like you would a right hand. And let me tell you something. That was as stiff a jab as you can get hit with. And here we go. He is a knockdown. Now Augustine trying to hang on. And his arm got wrapped around the ropes. That didn't help much either, you know, because he was, you know, kind of vulnerable there. But 
but Ariola really let loose a, a fantastic combination that really you would expect a lightweight to throw. They were one after another in succession, and uh, I think I, I got to tell you, Ariola looks like he's back. He really does. He looks fit. He looks focused. He looks fast. I gotta, I gotta hand it to him. I was surprised. Uh, he, he made a believer out of me. Coming back after this amount of time at 38 years old is pretty amazing. Looking like that against an undefeated guy. Yeah, uh, did well. To the ring for the decision, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, three seconds in round number three. Our referee in charge, Neil Young, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, Chris the Nightmare. So Chris Ariola victorious goes to 38, five and one. Back to the ring, Heidi Andro. Thank you very much. Well, Chris, Joe Goosen just said ringside. He looks like he is back. We have never seen him look so good. You told me before this fight and all the guys that if you didn't win this fight, you would be retiring. Not only if I didn't win, if I didn't look good. You know, Kid Creole, hungry man, hungry kid. He came out here to make a name for himself using me, and it wasn't gonna happen. I came out here because I'm still a heavyweight to be reckoned with. I'm, I'm title chasing, not check chasing, and let's get get it, man. I lose, I'm out. I ain't losing. You most certainly did not lose this fight. Did Absolutely you expect not. him to be a flopper and go down as many times as he did? Um, You know what, as soon as I touched him a couple times, I, I see I see it in his eyes that, it, that he was hurt. But um, I just kept, I came with composure. I tried to, you know, just stay calm and make it, and it was going to come. And it showed. This division is wide open, and you told me, quote, it's fun. Who do you want next? I love fighting, man. I love it. You know, as I, like I said, we both were trying to beat the crap out of each other, and after that, the respect, hug, you know what? I love what I do. I'm blessed to be a fighter. Well, congratulations on an amazing win here in front of this amazing crowd. Kenny, we'll send it back All to you.